Do you also think that Steam UI looks dated for the 21st century? I mean, if we take a look at the Steam UI from the beginning. In 2003, Steam looked like this and it acted like a patcher for Counter-Strike. In 2004, they added an option so the users can actually buy games on the platform and from there Steam evolved to where it's now with the UI from 2014. Yes, you heard it right, from 2014, which came with the so-called discovery update. And this is also where major UI changes for Steam end. Of course, Valve releases some minor fixes for the UI here and there, but nothing major really. So if you haven't noticed from the title of the video, today I'm going to show you how to install Modern Fluent Theme for Steam Client and the theme also really nicely complements modern operating systems like Windows 10 and 11. So without further ado, let's begin. So to install a custom theme for Steam, you must have Steam installed, right? After that, open up your web browser and then search for Fluent for Steam, or you can just click on the link in video description, which is randomly right below the like button, by the way. On the website, you can play with the slider thingy, but not too much because it can explode. So you can know what you are getting yourself into. Down below is the download button, which we will touch in just a few seconds, and a couple of instructions. Now, if you are on Windows 7, 8 or 10, you will need to install a custom font. Here I'm using Windows 11, but I will show you how to install this font anyway. Now, click on the blue font link and this should start the font download. Now, open up your downloads folder and then extract the font file. When the extraction is completed, open the folder which contains the font files. Now select all of them without the eula.txt file, right click and then press install. Now we can go back to the browser and finally touch the download button. Here you will be divided with the two options. I recommend that if you can support the developer that you pick an option on the left. The right option is the free version which I will go with for this tutorial. When you get the skin zip file, extract it just like you did with the font file before and then go to the extracted folder. Now double left click the exe file and the steam skin installer should start. Next you should see windows protected your PC pop-up, just click on more info link and then click run anyway button which just appeared. In the installer, select your preferred language and then click next. Next, select the installation folder for the skin, by default is program files x86 and steam folder. Or if you have steam installed in different directory, make sure that you select that one and then click next and the installation should start. After that, close the installer by clicking the next button and then open the steam client. On the top left, select Steam and then click on the settings option. In the settings, navigate to the interface tab and here click on the menu where it says default skin. Then select fluent for Steam skin and then press OK. Next, you should be prompted with the restart required pop-up, click restart Steam and then the skin should be applied. Now we can see fluent for Steam skin in action. As I said before, I think that it really nicely complements modern UI of Windows 11. At the top left we have new hamburger menu instead of text Steam. Even the buttons on this Steam are following Windows 11 design as you can see on this Steam news pop-up. At the bottom right, if I right click on the Steam tray icon, we can see that this menu also has a new design. Overall, I think that this skin should be implemented with the Steam client by default because it is just so good. Now, let me show you how to uninstall this Steam and there are two ways of doing so. First, go to the hamburger menu and click on settings. Then navigate to the interface tab. At the first drop down menu select default skin and then restart the Steam client. Now to uninstall the skin theme you can go to the Steam install directory. You can do this by right clicking the Steam shortcut and then click on the open file location option. 
Here you will repeat the same process, so right click and then select open file location and this should redirect you to the Steam install directory. Here you must search for the skins folder, you can do this by clicking on the file and then pressing S on your keyboard until you find skins folder. Now select the skins folder and on your keyboard press shift and delete. Now you should see a pop-up if you want to permanently delete the skins folder. Press OK and you should be good to go. The second way of uninstalling the skin is to go to the control panel. Here select uninstall a program and from the list select fluent for steam and then press uninstall button at the top. Then just click next and the skin should be uninstalled. And with that said, this has been Tech Enthusiast video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you tried this skin out in the comment section. And don't forget to support the developer by doing so. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to click on the like button and you can always subscribe as well. If you didn't know, you can also support me on coffee.com, link in video description. And with that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.